Good morning, troops. <clears throat> okay. Today is December 5th. I can't believe it. I just get the boogie. Whatever that was. I didn't know what that was, baby. Okay. Honeymoon wanted to pop out, so you might be at a distance from someone. But December 5th, current energy. Let's say, let's do this now until Sunday, so let's just see what we get. Let's just see what we get. We get what we get and we don't get upset. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess it depends on what comes out, right? And who comes at you and what's being said and if anything's being said. So, current energy now until is it the, the 8th or something. Yeah. There might be a breakup. Oh, you guys are already currently separated. Reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. So, <clears throat> this is looks like someone's finding their self worth, playfulness. Someone might be feeling the youth again. To me, it's definitely seeing your self worth in a situation. Tell me about separation. This, you could be separated at the time. You're already separated. You guys could be on a break. The separation card I look at more like a little bit of silence. More than, I mean, you guys could obviously not be together, but. Tell me about separation. If you believe. So this can go two ways. You guys are either separated right now. You know exactly who each other are. And if you believe strong enough, something obviously can come into fruition. Others of you are having a really hard time walking away from the situation. Tell me about you deserve love. You deserve love. I like this because that's somebody coming into their self-worth. Listen to your intuition. So your heart, your soul, you're being guided. Your gut's telling you. Tell me about playfulness. Or this is you knowing that you need to walk away because you deserve more love and you know there's something sketchy going on. Okay? Playfulness. So you're obviously attracted to somebody that says no need to worry. So right now you're separated from the one you love. And somebody needs to find more self-worth. Um, more self-love. Do things for themselves and, and not to please other people. So, you guys definitely know who this is regarding. So this is giving you a little extra love. There might be a Leo that needs to walk away from the situation when you split the deck, or you got clarity, it's time to go towards your happiness. 
Maybe you don't need to walk away from anyone. You just need to take the initiative to go after what you want. And I just cut the deck again with, now it was the cherry and the eight of cups. Okay, so tell me if you believe. I believe I can fly. So you got the moon. It, it's pretty much going into the unknown. Something is not revealed to you. Someone juggling their thoughts or there's just a lot going on. Tell me, listen to your intuition. Ten of Swords. So there's been some type of betrayal. There's an ending. There's a situation you are currently in. I'm definitely meaning two stories because there's a situation that somebody is definitely in and it's over. And now it's time to move forward. Get in tune with your own feelings. Okay. You got every everything's telling you something's over. So you're either going to, that card speaks of taking a journey, obviously too, right? But messaging, it might be somebody you want to reach out to, whomever you've been thinking about. Looks like you're thinking about walking away. If you are with someone and you know it's an unhealthy situation and it's over, you know, you are thinking about walking away from them because you've done, you've been juggling a situation for a long time. That's over. Um, or you're sick and tired of a situation not coming together and you're like, screw it, I'm going to message someone. Tell me about no need to worry. Playfulness. I don't know if you think there's competition or someone, you know, if you're not with somebody, you may think somebody else is messing around or they might find someone else. You know, I don't. This is usually recapturing the romance, allowing your inner child, your spirit to shine. You know, that's just kind of like possibly sending you getting your spunk back versus jealous, jealousy. You know, and no need to worry. Don't worry about a thing so if you're a feminine and you guys are separated this can work both ways too this is all about adventure new ideas new situations could be a new job a new area of study just continue on your path don't let anything stop you well, this is a masculine worried about Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be any sign, though. That is the second time I have seen the page with a king and the page has been feminine each time the first one I believe was the page of no the princess of cups and then the king of cups was at the bottom of the deck and and now the king of cups is actually back out there might be an age difference but the fact that there's no need to worry there's got to be a pretty special connection here tell me about the two of pence so you ask me, this is just thoughts, decisions need to be made when it comes to a new start. Something might be held up right now. Somebody might have a family or if something's held up. Um, considering you have another 10 here that's over, something might be on hold because somebody needs to leave a situation in order to start a situation. 
if this, yeah, this worry, if by any chance there was a third party or there's something going on. So I see the Queen of Swords. But with a lot of other energies that's telling me somebody might be manipulating a situation within a household. And it's holding things up. Because this is not positive to me. So say you're not with somebody that happened to be a third party or not even a third party. Say there's just somebody in your life that you want to restore something with. And you know you want to rekindle. They want to rekindle. Something's going down. They could have children with the Queen of Swords because it's coming in as the Queen of Swords. But this woman would be manipulating and using the children for them not to have a new start. Dealing with somebody extremely manipulative. And what I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck, it's, it's almost like you haven't picked up on it yet. They're, you know what I mean? Like It's like they're going to manipulate you so something goes in their favor. And it could be a husband and wife since the court cards are out together. But there's a lesson here that still needs to be learned and followed through. Because this is not, <clears throat> tell me about the Ten of Cups. This looks like somebody wants a new start with someone else. So be careful of mani manipulation. Yeah, see? Keeping you feeling trapped in a connection. That's not even being nurtured. Okay? So see what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of manipulation going on within a household from a wife. And if you do have children, she is using the children against you. Because it looks like there's a masculine that wants to start with it's a Taurus or a Capricorn. Or water came into. But it can be any sign, right? Somebody needs to figure out. They need to communicate. They need to get on a new journey. They need to figure out that there's not enough love in one situation, but there's a lot of love in another. Somebody hasn't figured out they're being manipulated. That somebody is really good at manipulating situations. It, the, they haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so I hope that helped. Others of you, if there's nobody like that, um, this is just you in the, in the pursuit of happiness. And it looks like you're going to be successful. Take it slow. Venture out. You're going to run into someone. But if you ask me, there's, there's no need to worry. Regardless of whose situation's who. Which is kind of telling me there's something being orchestrated. Additional messages, please. Yeah, Princess of Cups is out again with the Six of Wands. Maybe dealing with somebody in the public eye because this card screams public eye lately. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this is this is an energy that cares about someone, wants something to be successful, wants to invest their time. I don't know if they're holding on or not. The Four of Pens was there. Any additional messages? the world uh, one door needs to shut for another one to open for you guys to go through a path and you got judgment second chances okay princess of wands getting yourself out of toxicity um it's a past life connection you have with somebody so i hope that helped have a fantastic day we'll see you soon bye